all right so we had seen how to create this cube next we'll see how to place the circles inside of this in this way over here go to the now when i choose the circles option over here and try to draw the circle you will be getting the circles in this way you will be getting straight circles you won't be having these circles inclined or aligned to these planes isometric planes that is the reason you cannot choose this normal circle option but instead you will be going with the option called tool that is the pop up menu called tools and in the tools option you have isometric click on isometric which brings up the isometric toolbar the first option over here is the creation of blocks isometric blocks wherein you will be able to specify the plane as well top left or right suppose i select left and i can draw a plane in left let me choose top and i can draw it in the top view in this view. i can choose right and i can draw it over here in the right side as well that is how you will be using your place block option the next option over here is place circle isometric that is an isometric circle can be placed by selecting this and specifying the plane as well first let me draw a line over here from here to this midpoint then i'll select the circle option isometric circle and currently you can see this particular face is the right face since it's between 30 degrees and 90 degrees in the right face i'll select the center point and then enter the distance this is how it will appear in the right plane right isometric plane if i choose left isometric plane i'll be getting the circle in this way or if i go with the top plane i'll be getting it in this way so the best or the correct method of selection of plane is right select right and next you need to enter the value the value you can enter in the acu draw that is the distance method and i'm going to enter the value as somewhere around h enter sorry h enter and left click in this way you have placed this circle similarly draw the line over here and do now right now you need to be in the left plane so select left and go till here similarly draw one line from here to here in the top plane it's not necessary that you select top plane right now you can even go with the right plane right isometric plane option the reason being both in top as well as in the right isometric planes you have a common axis and that is the 30 degrees axis that is the reason i can either choose top plane or the right plane and i can draw this line after which i'll again go with the place circle option isometric circle select left and in the center point i'm going to start it and stop it like this similarly in the top view as well this is the center and this is how i'll be creating this circle now this is how you have placed those blocks okay let us now go for the creation of a drawing by example now this example given over here can be used directly delete this now i am trying to create that object from this point over here and i want this line to start from here from here i'll be moving along in this direction and proceeding with the entire figure okay now instead of each time changing your isometric plane you can select it to all and when you select it to all what happens is from the origin point that is from the start point of your line you can go along all the three axes their positive as well as their negative direction that is the 30 degrees line you can pass through it you can pass through the 90 degrees line as well as the 150 degrees line not just this the minus 30 minus 90 and minus 150 lines or axis can also be axis okay so basically it's better or it's convenient to choose the all option over here and you can close this now
Now over here, the length of the line is 104 units, vertically 48. So in this direction, 104, enter and left click. That is the line which we created. Then vertically, 48, enter, left click. After this, in this direction, 72. 104. Again, vertically down, 48 direction and 72 then. 48, enter, left click. Then in this direction, 72 units. That is how you have placed this outer loop. Next, you need to go for the inner loop. Vertical distance is 16. So take your line command, select it over here, vertically 16 units, enter, left click. After which, this is the distance, 24 units horizontally so 24 16 and 24 this is how it proceeds along this direction 24 enter left click vertically 16 enter left click 24 right this is how you have placed this next we need to draw these lines from here to here the total space from here to here is 104 from here to here this line 104 minus this space over here will give me the length from this point to this point total distance as I said is 104 minus you will be subtracting this portion from here to here which is nothing but equivalent to 24 units so 104 minus 24 is 80 so in this direction we will start off from here and move in this direction of 80 units enter and left click. Similarly go back to your 16 units vertically down 24, 16, 24 in this way. 16 enter left click, 24 enter left click, Second, enter left click, 24 enter left click. then join it over here right click then you can directly join this line this line right click again from here to here right click from here left click to left click over here in this way you also need this distance from here to here which is by looking at the figure you can see total is 72 minus this distance 24 total is 72 minus you will have to go with 24 which is 48 enter and left click then you can go with this clicking now that completes the entire figure this is how it is shown over here in the exercise Now, if at all you want to create any fillets over here, suppose I want a fillet over here, you can go ahead and select this fillet option over here and but when you select it, you need to click on two lines. Suppose I want to create a fillet between this horizontal line, sorry this 150 degrees line and this vertical line. then they both of them should act like two different entities and the fillet will be created between them or suppose over here between this and this the fillet is placed over there this is how you will be generating these fillets over here in your drawings select this select this the fillet is created over here right. you can see this is the fillet of radius 10 units okay in this way you can proceed with fillets or chamfers whatever objects you have whatever modifications you want to do you can provide those modifications by carrying out using the modify or the manipulate toolbars in this way you will be generating your isometric drawings 
with this I am going to stop the isometric drawings over here and that is the end of isometric creation.